He's hit uh, some spectacular scores. He's gone right through. Obwe! Early goal chance for Donegal and blocked by Con Kilpatrick. Darrow Obwe has scored two already in this championship. And I think if he had his time again, he'd have done things differently as McCurry shoots from out on the right. And Darren McCurry with a brilliant score. Ryan McHugh didn't play against Tyrone in the championship last year. In fact, wasn't even in the country when the teams met here last June. Owen Van Gallagher did play in that game. Again, he finds a gap to Jason McGee. That was a really good tackle by Kennedy, but the break falls to Gallagher again. Goal chance. A second one for Donegal, and this time it's Niall Devlin. Again, it's Keelan McGonagall, shouldered backwards by Brian Kennedy. McGonagall very slow getting back to his feet. That was a, a solid hit by the Tyrone joint captain. Stopped uh, McGonagall in his tracks, but Donegal try a different avenue. Lovely ball from Langan to Thompson, jersey tugged. Referee says play on, and Kieran Thompson fires over the equaliser. Langan again, and Donegal will start at the start with Ryan McHugh. Here's Oshin Gallen from the local Sean McCool's club. Cuts in, makes an angle. Well, he knows the place like the back of his hand, Oshin Gallen. Niall Morgan at his very best with that kick out to find Niall Devlin. Diagonal delivery to Derek Canavan, a moving target to McCurry. Again, it's a tight angle, but practice makes perfect, and McCurry sweeps that over the bar. It's Tyrone's first score for almost 10 minutes. Now Tyrone will try and play on the break. Niall Devlin, advantage being played, Derek Canavan, Con Kilpatrick. There's a real air of menace about this move. It's Canavan again! Well, he went for it, and he hit it with everything he had, but it screamed across the face of Sean Patton's goal. Well, just to, to tell you, there's a strong wind blowing right down the field from left to right towards the river end here in the cool park. Here come Donegal again, put on a plate for Patrick McBrearty. Donegal sixth different scorer tonight already, but McBrearty looks really sharp. So far, Tyrone have just been unable to really harness. Now Rory Canavan chinks his way through. Kilpatrick being pursued by Michael Langan. Kieran McGeary has a shooting chance, backs himself, and McGeary with a lovely score. Out the field goes Niall Devlin, All-Ireland winning under-20 captain. Rory Canavan, another of the All-Ireland under-20 winners. His brother Dara is trying to move into position, closer to goal. Michael O'Neill is trying to drive past McGee. He sets up the chance for Shawnee O'Donnell, and the wing forward from Trillick finishes with a plum. All alone is Niall O'Donnell, nobody picking him up. Lovely skill to go past McKernan. Thompson pops it back inside to O'Donnell. Langan, Thompson! Oh, it would have been some goal from Thompson and Donegal. So we're going to have one minute of added time, and that's almost elapsed. Time maybe for Donegal to go back in front. It's Kieran Moore, he's gone right through, gives it to Gallen, and Oshin Gallen was always going to be the right man on the end of that move, and Gallen with point number four. Man trying to track his run is Cormac Quinn. The lights are on here in Bally Buffet. Evening is starting to draw in quite quickly as Ryan McHugh makes a dart forward, makes an angle and finds a trademark score. Well, Ryan McHugh two-time All-Star, back to his best. Pather Morgan, eyes up daily, gives it to Moore. It's 
been an impressive third quarter from the Ulster champions. Now it's Jason McGee, strides through and pops it up and over the bar. Two points for the big midfielder, Jason McGee. The Clahanili man couldn't believe how much time he had and he made the most of it. Michael McKernan looking to create something, heading towards the town goal. Niall Devlin, nice sidestep. Devlin takes on the shot, and Niall Devlin has just kicked his first score in senior championship football, and Tyrone really needed that. It's a brilliant score from Niall Devlin. Donegal playing all the football, but Tyrone are just hanging in there. Pather Morgan moves up through the gears, hits the edge of the D, and has delivered a terrific score. Well, Pather Morgan's electric pace had Tyrone in all sorts of trouble. He's been redesigned as an attacking wing back this season, but he can play anywhere. And Donegal go four in front. Now, can Tyrone finish with a score? McGeary plays the 1 2, and Kieran McGeary, for the third time, comes up with a big score when the chips are down for Tyrone. They're trying to kickstart a comeback, they're trying to get back into this game, and McGeary shows them the way. Here's Sean Patton, the goalkeeper from Unions, to Pather Mogan. Mogan knifes through, and Pather Mogan caps. A terrific display with a third point from play and Tyrone simply had no answer. Donegal already in the process of locking this down. Hugely impressed by them. Um, you know, they, were, they were really good throughout us the campaign. They made huge gains and strides from where they were last year, but the level of performance of now has just gone through the roof um, from where they were. Oren Doherty wants to get in on the act. And he has done one of so many exciting talents in this Donegal squad. Lit up the club championship here last season. And he enjoyed that moment. And Ryan McHugh will set Shane O'Donnell away. There's nothing but open road if he can go by Paulie Hamsey, but that's easier said than done. O'Donnell looking to twist and turn and lose Hamsey. Now the support arrives from Michael Langan. Well, the roar of the crowd will tell you that Michael Langan has delivered point number 21. And that puts the icing on a brilliant display by Donegal. And the only unbeaten team in the country rack up another win. Jim McGuinness still winning matches and he will lead his team